Will you join me? You're watching Myers Paranormal. Hi, everybody. Hi. Stephen Alderman Hope with Myers Paranormal. Uh, today we're over here. Uh, the local police department has a couple of monuments out here. And I want to show you that and kind of read some of the historical markers. So y'all come along with us. This is the police department. And then right out here we have some flags, a pavilion, and we have a historical marker right here. And then out in the middle is uh, a monument to the person who had something to do with Gadsden. It's got her name. I just don't remember the name. But We'll head right here and show you all the different things there is to see. And... All right. Gadsden, Alabama. In the early 1840s. John F. Moran, along with Gabriel and he, uh, Joseph Hughes, began surveying for a city on the banks of the Coosa River near the settlement of Double Springs. The new city would be 120 acres of land on the present site of the downtown business district. The fledging town received boosts July 4th, 1845 when the piercing sounds of steamboat whistle along the Northeast River. Got all kinds of heavy traffic. There's a monster airplane going over. And it says uh, the landing of a Captain James Laffrey steamboat Yeah, see. The Coosa River marked the genesis of a new town. The name chosen of the town was Gazin in honor of Colonel James Gazin, who passed through the area with Andrew Jackson. Many believe that the Colonel, a prominent transcontinental railroad, would bring a major railroad through the vicinity, although the major railroad was never constructed, the name retained in honor of the colonel. Little town survived the Civil War, continued to grow, and it was incorporated in 1871. The start of the 20th century brought changes that would forever shape the future of Gazin. In 1902, Captain W.T. Lay began negotiations with the Southern Steel Company of Inslee to relocate to Gazin. An ample supply of coal and iron made from the locals' choice for construction of a steel mill. In 1904, with $38,000 in aid from the local government, the new plant began production. For nearly a century, the steel mill, along with the Goodyear Tire Rubber Corporation, was the economic engine that powered Gazin's development. As a matured small business district, once lined though, with wooden storefronts, was replaced by a booming commercial center dominated by beautiful brick buildings. With a renewed interest in the waterfront, a return to its downtown Gadsden's past and future are forever intertwined. The downtown historic district is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Look at that uh, beautiful one. And there's the Welcome to Gadsden sign. Yeah, 
guy by the way. I don't remember the name, but if it works, I doubt it works. It don't work. Sarah, Sarah Ward. Oh my gosh, this is headstones. What? Sandra Woodruff. First stone president, 1882 to 1928. Laura Burr and organized by Martha Ward Serbert. That's weird. That actually has headstone. And, pretty garden. and they got some beautiful garden here. Bumblebees are adoring. And then, I think this is the uh, stone of Sarah Ward. I wonder if you could go out there and stand around it. This was built in 1906. United, let's uh, see. Presented by the United States Gadsden Chapter of the United Daughters of the Confederacy in 1906. And it's got a picture of a girl in 1861 to 1865. I just have to read the story here because I just, I don't know. I can't hardly read it. Yeah, that's the Civil War date, so. Then on this side, it's got something. It was it's placed there in memory of the soldiers. I'll have to read the story and add that in there or something. But then when we come over here at the very corner of this property, we have a uh, maybe a concrete or a stone with a name in it. John H. Wisdom. His courageous ride of warning from Gadsden to Rome, Georgia on May 6, 1863 is unsurpassed by history erected by the Etowah County Historical Society. Okay. She's the person that showed him the way from Gadsden to Rome to warn of the impending Union soldiers. That's what that is. And this is the road that we go under when we was getting to the riverfront. little bridge there. It actually has a walkway. And right here, the Coosa River Memorial Bridge built by the state of Alabama, County of Etowah, City of Gadsden, and dedicated to the memory of Etowah County. World War heroes who made the supreme sacrifice for their country. Apparently, you can walk across. I'm not, but... Did you read that yeah. Is it the same as the yeah, it's the same. It's just saying it's in memory of. And then... Included in Appalachian history, there's always artwork somewhere. And today, we have a large structure with glass and tile work included. It's like a chair. It's made of concrete, I know that. It's got glass and tile work down to it. Yeah. Like somebody somebody. Left their it's like some of the glass is coming out of it, but how nice. pretty. And then you can go right here. 
and walk and see the there's like a grassy area and you can see across straight across is the uh the riverside park or whatever we went to yesterday And they still got Christmas lights in it. And right over there, that red bridge, that is the Lover's Lock Bridge. Ain't that what they call it? The Lover's Lock? Yeah. We're going to head that way in just a minute ourselves as soon as we find a dollar store. On the other side, there was a plaque on the event. So, well, I want to go right here, too. They're barbecuing something, but I'd like to go right here. And... Well, those war planes are... They're pro it's close to Huntsville, so they're training the pilots. That's the Air Force. You got a neat pavilion here with electrical fans, greenery, and a sign that reads, This gazebo was an 1884 project of the Beautification Board. That's awesome. Needs to be refurbished. But that's neat. Let's go over here to the... Y'all have to overlook the uh, generator running because they got... You know, this, let's walk, we'll walk through right here instead of going. We got the flags. Huh? And there's a monument. That's cool. All right. Uh, well, I hope y'all enjoyed this little short little history uh, lesson here. Pretty neat little spot. And, uh, appreciate y'all hanging out with us. And, uh, until next time, we'll see you later. Bye. You're watching Myers Paranormal.